Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine and today's video is going to be a little bit more exciting than past videos. Um, I finally got my Ulta and Sephora hauls in that I had been talking about forever and ever and ever and I will be using some new products today. So I'm going to show you off all my new products that I got. Um, in my hauls and then we're gonna get going into the video so uh, first I'll show you some of my skincare stuff I got and I have been using for the past couple of days I'd say I had it about I've I got my hauls in about a week ago I'd say about last weekend today is Thursday the 6th or 7th when I'm filming this um, so I have been trying the ordinary squalene cleanser for about a week, maybe a, a little less than that. Um, this is what it, I kept it. I kept it in the box because I wanted to have the box to use in the video. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. This is it compared to my hand um, than I thought it was gonna be, which is fine. Um, again, this is my first time using a cleanser, so I, I didn't really know what to expect. But I do like it a lot. It doesn't get um, foamy like I thought it was going to. It is a one that you put on on dry skin and then you kind of rub it in, let it get uh, oily. Um, and I guess because it's got squalene in it that it's supposed to help with hydration. So it's just a different type of cleanser than what I thought it was going to be, which is totally fine. I'm going to use it all up. I'm excited to see what this does for my skin. I don't think it's necessarily done anything yet because I've been using it less than a week, but I think I'm really gonna like this. So that was the first thing. And then the second thing, I've been um, using this the same amount of time as this uh, cleanser as well, but this is the Ordinary Hydrators and Oils 100% Plant-Derived Squalene. I have used this before, so this is not my first time using it, uh, but I really, really like this and um, have noticed already a difference in my skin using this for just the past couple of days. This is what it looks like. It's just a serum, comes in a little bottle and has the dropper. <clears throat> but it makes my, feel, my face feel very hydrated, very um, glowy, and you guys know that I love that. So I will put this on before I do my makeup. I do my cleanser in the morning and at night, and then I put my cleanser on, or I put my oil on in the morning and at night as well. And then two things I have been loving, the True Cream, the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Increased Hydration Level Moisturizer. So this is my day moisturizer. Uh, I have been loving this. This is more of a gel moisturizer, more so than a, a, a thicker or creamier moisturizer. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And I really like it a lot. I've been putting it on every day in the morning, I've been putting it on before I do my makeup, when I've been doing my makeup. So uh, I really like this a lot. Again, just been using it for a couple days, so I can't say for sure if it's made a difference in my skin. Um, but so far, I like it a lot. And I think the container is pretty big. I think it was about 30, 34 dollars maybe from Sephora. Uh, but so far, I really, really like it. And I definitely think that the price is not too bad for how much product you get. I think um, a little bit goes a long way with that moisturizer for sure. And then I did get the um, Aqua Balm sleeping mask as well from Belief. Um, so I put this on at night and it's more of like a, like a jelly mask. So again, this goes, um, a little bit goes a long way as well with this. It's very interesting. It's not gonna like, I don't think it will come out. Maybe a little bit, <laughs> but it's it's more like jelly. It's very interesting to kind of play with, uh, but a little goes a long way with this. It smells very good. And then you just wash it off in the morning and it's supposed to uh, lock and seal in explosive hydration overnight and intensely moisturize for a dewy glow. So, and I think this was I don't know if this is more expensive or cheaper than the day cream, but either way, it wasn't it wasn't too crazy, more expensive or too crazy cheaper than the day cream. So I was very, very, very excited to get those two. I've never tried an overnight sleeping mask or anything like that before. So I really, really like it. And I've been trying to be very good about putting it on every single night before bed and then putting my moisturizer on every single day. Um, and I really, I really, really, really like the two products. So. 
a big thumbs up for the belief skincare system. I think it's really going to do a really great job for my skin and what I'm wanting. So we will finally get started and um, get into this video. If you guys are excited, if you guys enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to upload every single week different videos and am wanting to kind of expand my content and maybe go into hair, fashion, decor, um, just a bunch of different things that uh, make me excited. So if that makes you excited, please subscribe and um, let's go ahead and get started into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with my plant-derived squalene since I've not done anything to my face. I'm just gonna do my little drops. You really only need the tiniest amount. Oh, and I did get my nails done. Thank God. Um, I went somewhere that was very, very clean. I went um, to visit my grandparents in Milledgeville. That's where they live. And um, they, my aunt also lives up there in Milledgeville or in Gordon, so close to Milledgeville. And she was like, if you're gonna get your nails done, you need to go to this place. They're very clean. They had like two or three people in the entire salon when I was there. All had masks on, very, very clean. Um, so I felt very comfortable going in there. My aunt had gone in there, my mom had gone in there. Um, and obviously being around my grandparents, I didn't feel very comfortable going anywhere, but if I were to go somewhere, it would definitely be somewhere where my mom was gonna go because she's, you know, with my grandparents right now um, and also where my Aunt Tina was gonna go, so. And then I am just gonna go in with the Belief um, Aqua Bomb Increased Hydration Level. It's supposed to be a refreshing gel cream provides weightless yet intensive hydration. It, I will say it does feel like there's not a heavy cream on my face, which I do enjoy. It feels like it absorbs very fast. I'm not a huge person that um, loves gels, gel creams, but um, I don't, I don't mind this moisturizer whatsoever. Again, I take the slightest amount and it can do my whole face. Smells very refreshing. That's the one thing I feel like um, kind of higher end products do offer is either no fragrance or a very refreshing fragrance. Sometimes it can be a little too much, um, but I feel like this skincare brand um, has found a very good balance in not putting a crazy amount of fragrance or you know, no fragrance at all to where it's not enjoyable to put on your skin, you know. Okay, so now that we've got our skincare taken care of, let's go ahead and go into a primer. You guys know I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. My Ride or Die Primer. I'm gonna use this primer in my T-zone where I get oily the most. Okay, now that my e.l.f. primer is on, I'm going to do my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. All of these products, as much as I can, will uh, be linked in the description below. Whatever I can try and find, I usually try and link. If not, I still do mention what I use um, in my description below. I will say I cleaned this beauty blender before I used it with soap and a lot of the color came off which I got a nude so I didn't think that it would a lot of the color came off but I didn't really love that and it also smells very chemically which I don't love that I went to go get some clips to keep my hair kind of out of my face kind of pulled back um, hopefully it doesn't they don't cinch my hair back but these are those um, Kristen S um, hair clips I love them a lot my mom got them for me. We're gonna do foundation first. 
We're gonna go in with the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. Again, this is new, never used this before. This is in the shade Medium 9. Okay, so the Lorac Pro, so Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation um, at Ulta was 38. So it's supposed to be a long wearing soft matte foundation with buildable medium to full coverage. The key benefits, refreshing feel with soft focus finish, long wear performance with a silk like texture, lightweight feel with buildable coverage, spherical powders deliver excellent slip and keep skin sh shine free, water resistant, suitable for all skin types and dermatologist tested. It's got vitamin C and sodium hyaluronate to help preserve skin's elasticity and it infused with a complex of watermelon, apple, and lentil fruit extracts to help reduce appearance of fine lines and increase skin hydration. I am all good with that. Oil-free, fragrance-free, and vegan. And when reading all of these reviews online, that's what all of these reviews said. So I have very high expectations. And then also, um, Tati recommended this foundation. So that was my, okay, I'm definitely gonna get this foundation. Tati recommended it, I'm gonna get this foundation. So I'm just gonna do, squirt it out onto my Morphe M439. I'm gonna do two pumps is what that looks like. I think the shade should be fine. And just apply this. Oh, it may be a little bit all of me. That's okay, we'll make it work. I would definitely agree with the medium to full coverage claim. I definitely think it's got some coverage there. So you can still see a little bit of redness through my cheeks, but that's okay. Again, medium to full coverage is the claim. Probably could have gone a little bit lighter on this shade, but that's okay. Oh, it was pretty olivey. And I definitely have olive undertones, but maybe not this deep. <laughs> Matching foundations is the struggle online. <laughs> and if you've ever bought foundation online, then you know what I'm talking about. I may just take a tiny bit onto my beauty blender, just the tiniest bit, and put that on my cheeks and kind of see how that works. See how the sponge kind of reacts to that. Probably will soak up a lot of the product, but definitely is true to the uh, skin-like finish. So I think I'm gonna like this. And also see how it wears too throughout the day, so. Definitely think that soaked up a lot of product, but. Now to concealer, we're gonna try this Dose of Colors concealer. Concealer, Meet Your Hue Full Coverage Concealer. I got the shade Light Medium 14. And this is supposed to be blendable, lightweight, long wear, full coverage. Our multitasking full coverage concealer has a lightweight, easy to blend formula. Conceals dark under eye circles, blemishes, and other skin imperfections. Uh, apply uh, concealer to desired areas using the wand applicator, blend out our seamless beauty sponge, fingertips, or preferred applicator. It's vegan, vegan cruelty-free, talc-free, and paraben-free. So I think this may be a good shade. I also brought over my Tarte Shape Tape in case it's not super full coverage. We can add a little bit more coverage with the um, Tarte Shape Tape. This is what this applicator looks like. Very similar to the um, Tarte Shape Tape. As in, it's very big. So that's about how much I'm gonna add underneath each eye. Shade doesn't seem too bad. I don't like super bright under eyes. So we're gonna blend out with the beauty sponge and go from there. Definitely would not say as full coverage as a Tarte Shape Tape, but let's add a little bit more of the Dose of Colors concealer. Right up in here where I've got some little bit of darkness. And then we may add some more Tarte Shape Tape or even some e.l.f. to kind of make sure things are still kind of creamy. I'm really liking the, the shade and how everything is looking. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of my e.l.f hydrating concealer. This is in the shade medium peach. Okay, so I took my clips out because they were just kind of bothering me, but um, 
I feel like my under eyes are a little bit creasier than they normally would be. Um, I'm not sure if that's due to the foundation or due to the concealer. The e.l.f. concealer doesn't normally crease on me when I use my Tarte Shape Tape. I don't mind that the way that my under eyes are looking other than that um, as far as color or coverage is, is looking. Let's move on to our cream bronzer and our cream blush. I do have both of those, uh, one of them from Fenty and then the other one that I mentioned in my March and April favorites video. So I will be using both of those in this video. Obviously the Fenty cream bronzer will be a first impressions. The uh, blush is not, and I absolutely love the blush. So. I know that that one already is a winner. Okay, so for the Fenty Cream Bronzer, this is the packaging and this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be a fresh bronze glow, easy to blend, light as air, and sweat resistant. And I have this in the shade Macchiato 3. So this is the third uh, lightest shade, darkest shade. Um, and this is the color. I think it's gonna look very pretty on my skin. We are going to try this product out. I'm very, very, very excited. I think I'm just gonna use my a beauty blender to go in with the bottom of my beauty blender and just use that to blend it out on my cheeks. I'm gonna take the bottom, kind of go in there just a few times, get it nice and coated. That's what it looks like. I think it's supposed to be a very natural glow, very luminous glow. And something that you can build up as well. Very luminous, very pretty, very bronzed compared to the other side. Okay, so far the face is looking very bronzed. I'm really liking how it looks with the Fenty bronzer. I think that that's very pretty. Definitely recommend it. I was kind of on the fence about this going back and forth. I was like, I don't know, should I get it? Should I not get it? Um, but I'm very, very, very much so into cream products right now. I think the um, skin or the, I think the shade is very, very pretty. And uh, I think that the product is just very easy to blend, very user friendly, very makeup friendly. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great product. So I definitely, definitely recommend this uh, Fenty cream bronzer. I did not get the blush. I just thought it was way too small for the amount of uh, money that you are going to be spending and then I found this one you guys know I talked about this one in my last one at Target from Undone Beauty and this is in the shade Rosewood I really 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 like this one I just go in with my sponge kind of hit it a few times put it right on the cheeks and it's perfect so I'm gonna do that for blush today it's a very pretty natural blush gives a very nice natural pretty glow to the skin it's very similar to the uh to the bronzer the cream bronzer all of the other products seem to be working really well on top of this foundation so i'm not not too upset about that all right so for powder we're gonna go and try the oh there's winnie hey winnie Hi, you can't see her. Hello, hi, sweet girl. For powder, we are going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This is what it looks like right here. This is what it looks like. So I'm very, very, very excited to try this out. I think I'm just gonna take my bullet brush from Morphe and set the under eye with this and see what we think about it. So I'm gonna get all those creases out underneath my eye with my sponge. I even brought my Morphe sponge to see if I liked maybe using um, the powder with a sponge. Let me try that. Let's see how I like that. I think that Dose of Colors concealer is, might be a little bit too drying for my eyes, or maybe at this foundation, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna set kind of the T-zone, the rest of the face with this Charlotte Tilbury. 
think I'll have to use this powder some more and just kind of see what I think about it. I'm not loving my under eyes right now, so I can't really base it off of that. Uh, I will go into some of my Cody Airspun. I'm also going to go in with my Brighten up banana powder and just hit the underneath of my eye and kind of brighten up and add a little bit of coverage with my bullet brush. Yeah, I don't think that I am obsessed with, I mean, you can see the the line, the creases underneath my eyes, that I'm obsessed with the uh, dose of colors. It might be the combination of the dose of colors and the um, Lorac foundation, but I don't know. Usually my other concealers don't settle in that badly. So let's move on. We're gonna do a little bit of powder, bronzer, and powder blush. Um, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. You guys know I love this one. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk brush and bronze up the face a little bit. And we'll go in with some Butter Bronzer in the shade Endless Summer. It's a little bit of a darker shade. So we're gonna go in with a very light hand. And I'm taking this on my big fluffy brush from Morphe. Next we will do a tiny bit of contouring. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Y9 brush and contour with my Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette in the shade Ashy Radiance. Okay, next I will be going into the Vanilla Cream Truffle BH Cosmetics Palette. This is new from Ulta. They have a few different shades in this cute little palette, um, but this is the Vanilla Cream, and these are the shades. I thought they were super adorable, and it smells so good. So I am going to use... They don't have shade names on the back, so I think I want to use... I don't know... Maybe a mix of, I always like to mix them. I think maybe a mix of the top two shades, these two, this pink and this peachy. Mmm, and I can smell it and it smells so good. Put that red on the tip of my nose as well. And then when you put a brush, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> when you put a powder product on top of a cream product, that's just going to intensify the color of the powder product that you put on top. Really intensify both colors of the products that you put on. So um, that's really cool. I really love that. And that really is kind of what just happened with the blush as well as the bronzer. It, but it just becomes a little bit more intensified. It gives that uh, powder product something to stick onto your face. It's going to be a lot harder to come off of your face, a lot harder to slip off. So you have your, your cream product as well as your powder product kind of stuck onto your face. And I love, 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 love the color of those two mixed. So very, very, very pretty and smells like chocolate. So how could you not love that? Definitely recommend this. I think it was maybe 10 or 12 bucks and BH Cosmetics is a super cute brand. Really love them. Um, so next we will go into highlighter. No new highlighters for me. I'm gonna go into my Makeup Revolution Quad, my normal with my double-ended brush. Kinda hit these two uh, red, pinkier shades up here and hit my cheeks right where they hit that sunlight to get that glow. And then these two on the other side of my brush, top off the excess and just hit my cheekbones. Tip of my nose, the bridge, the cupid's bow, and the chin. 
to do a little bit of a natural highlight and then go in with my NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder in the shade Moon Glow with a little bit more precise um, shader brush and just hit where I really want that highlight to pop. It's gonna be right there on my cheekbones. Same for over here. The bridge of the nose, edge of the nose, cupid's bow, and the chin. And I will just go over that with my fluffy brush just a little bit, just to kind of blend those edges out, make it not super crazy. Make it more skin-like. And let's try out this new brow product that I'm super, super, super try excited to try out. Um, this is the Brow Boss from ColourPop. Again, in the shade Warm Blonde. So hopefully it's dark enough, light enough, whatever I want it to be. Um, and let's try this sucker out. I believe it was like six dollars so not super expensive. I'm gonna use the mirror in front of me to kind of do that. I didn't really do anything to my eyeshadow. I guess I can kind of pop a little bit of bronzer in there real quick. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, my Y16, and just pop a little bit of bronzer. That uh, better bronzer from Physicians Formula in Endless Summer. Just gonna tap in there just a few times. Just to get my brush coated. And just go in there in the crease and give myself a little bit of color. Maybe contour the nose a little bit. Okay, back to brows. <laughs> Okay, so again, this is Warm Blonde, and we'll see how this goes. I think this color is going to be perfect. I am very disappointed in myself for not trying this brow product sooner because this is a great brow product. The brow, the spoolie is not too bad. Um, the pencil is not too waxy, but it's not too thick. This is, I think, going to be a favorite of mine. One that I will be reaching for quite often. So I am very glad that I decided to add this to my cart and try it out. Very, very pretty. So now for our eyes, I'm gonna add my Essence Eyeliner Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in But First Espresso. You guys know that I love this stuff. I'm just gonna add it in my top water tight line, water line. I am going to add my, do my eyelashes, my eyelash curler. Um, add my Maybelline New York The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. You guys also know I love this stuff. And then we will get into trying some more of our new products, new lip products, and then we will be done with today's video. Okay, so now that we have the mascara on, eyelashes are curled and mascara is on, we're gonna move on to lips and then be done with the video. So <clears throat> I do have the three new lip products, but I'm not gonna be using all three of them in today's video. I think I'm gonna be using these two the uh, Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick and then the Kush Lip Glaze. I think I want to do a dark lip liner, do this mas uh, mascara, do this lipstick, and then the Kush Lip Glaze on top of I have that. this one from NYX. This is the Suede Matte Lip Liner in London. This may be dark enough. I don't know if it is. Might be the exact same shade as the lipstick. <laughs> okay, so let's try the lipstick. Again, this is in the shade Never Nude. Just a little bit lighter. This is a matte lipstick. Definitely will wanna put a liner 
or a gloss or something with it. Because it is a little matte. A little too matte for my liking. But I definitely would want to put something on top of it. To make it not so matte. Okay, so let's try the milk. Again, milk Kush lip glaze slash gloss high shine. High shine. Non-sticky hydrating gloss infused with hemp derived cannabis oil. It's got avocado oil, sage oil, peppermint oil, mango seed, butter, cocoa butter. It's supposed to be great for the lips, I guess. I do like how that looks though. I mean I'm not mad at it. So let's try this on. I don't think it's supposed to be like a limp plumper or anything. And this does have color in it as well. It's a little bit of like a nude color, so we'll see if it adds a little bit of a little bit of darkness to our lips. Let's see if we can get it to come out. I'm scared it's gonna like just shoot out. There's like none coming out. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's starting to get a little nervous. Okay, so this is what it looks like coming out. If you can see it. It's like a pinky nude. Let's see if we can get it to come out. I don't know why it, it must just be really thick. Cause of all the butters in it. Feels like there's some sand on my lips. It does feel a little tingly. I guess because of the peppermint? Peppermint oil. It feels a little I feel about that. It's a pretty color, but it just feels very, very gritty. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to play around with that one a little bit more. And it was, all, it was hard to come out. Maybe it's so thick because of all the butters in it. Maybe. I don't know. It's been sitting in my apartment, so it's not like it's been in like hot weather or anything like, or like hot temperatures or anything like that. And it's got a weird taste to it kind of. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see about that one. Um, if you guys have any, have had, are experiencing the same thing with that about that lip gloss, comment below because I don't know if that's just me or what. Um, but that is the end of the video. This is a long video testing out first impressions, new makeup that has just come out that I got from the Sephora sale as well as from Ulta. Most of the products I really, really, really like. Uh, Beauty Blender, nothing crazy about it. I think I will probably just continue to use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge because it's great. Um, the skincare stuff, I, I am still, you know, trying out. So I think I um, will have to maybe do like an updated skincare routine <clears throat> video on that in like a month or so. Um, and let you guys know how I feel about that. I really, really like the ColourPop pencil. I think that it's very pretty and matches my hair very, very, very well. And my natural eyebrow just very well. Um, so I liked that a lot, especially for $6. Um, the BH Cosmetics um, blush palette, really, really liked that. Really, really liked the cream bronzer from Fenty. I think that's probably my favorite. Also really liked the foundation. I think it's very, very pretty, very, very skin-like. Um, kinda iffy on the concealer. My nor my under eyes normally don't look like that when I'm wearing other concealer. So uh, maybe try it out with a different foundation. Um, I know it's not my primers. Um, maybe my skincare, I don't know. I can continue to try it out and see what I think about it. Uh, maybe try it out with my Cody Airspun, see what I think about that. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury powder was not bad. I just don't know if I can justify spending that much money on a powder. That Cody Airspun just always follows through. Um, but I do have a couple more products that I didn't try out. The Fenty Foundation. Um, I think that was it. Maybe that was the only product I didn't try out. Um, 
that I can put in my next video or another video, maybe do just like a sole video on the Fenty foundation. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys liked the video, um, liked watching me, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Very cool over here. Have good energy, good vibe. If you guys wanna let me know what you guys got in your, at your, from your Sephora sale, um, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.